Tony Lee Glenn here today, and I'm here to talk about how easy it is to do rollovers with uh, Dreamweaver CS6 by Adobe. And what I have is a very much a developmental um, side at this point for uh, a place that builds zip lines and uh, treetop adventure parks and things like that. And they would like for this these images over here to have some sort of rollover effect, <clears throat> perhaps like brightening or something like that. So I'm going to show you sort of how you do this. Right now, these are just placeholder images we put in here when we were first starting to lay out the website. So I'm going to go over to Dreamweaver. And here is what we've done was just uh, originally put these little small images and then put hot spots on top of them till we decided what we were going to do as far as a rollover uh, type uh, effect. So I'm going to show you kind of what you want to do. We're going to open up Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to open one of the images. I know I've got one called Zip Lines here, so let's open Zip, Z-I-P, Zip Lines button. And so what I've got, I've got this Zip Lines button here. It's only a one inch image. I'm going to zoom in on it. You can see it's very kind of pixelated and everything, but at one inch, it's not too bad. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to brighten this. I'm going to say uh, image adjust brightness contrast. I'm going to pull the brightness up a bit there and say OK. Then we'll do File, Save for Web, and we're going to save that as Buttons-2 and close this up and not save it. So what I did do already, if I were to pull up the folder that it's in, let's do that. Let's see, here are the JPEG images. You can see I have a Bridges button and a Bridges button to a Climbing Towers button, a Climbing Towers button to a custom designs button, a custom designs button too. And all of these number two versions here just have a brightened image so that when we roll over them, it will create that effect. And so how easy it is to do in Dreamweaver is this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these hot spots that I've done over the top of these images. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on zip lines up here. I know I've got my zip lines. Uh, right now it's just entered in as, a, as an image. I, I, I had pulled that in into Dreamweaver just I went insert and went to image and I just inserted an image. Now I want to insert a rollover image so I'm going to delete this for a moment. I'm going to say insert image rollover image. And it's going to bring this up. I'm going to call this zip lines. C-I-P-L-I-N-E-S. I'm going to pick my image. I'm going to click on the, you saw what I did there. I clicked on browse. I'm going to go to Z for zip line and there's zip line button. I'm going to do OK. I want my rollover image to be zipline button 2. So I'll just say again a Z here and there's zipline button 2. Say so OK. We want to give it alternate text so it can be search engine and uh, you know WC, W3C compliant. So I'm going to say uh, zipline's link. C I P L I N E S L I N K. And I'm going to make it go to the zipline's page. So I'm going to go Z again, and there's ziplines.html. I'll say OK. And now I have everything set up. I say OK. And now I have a rollover image here. Now we can sample that here just in a second. I'll hit Save. And let's, let's look at it a live view here. Now, when I roll over this, see, I have the uh, little glow that is added to it. Now these other ones don't because I have to go in here and individually do it for each one of these. So I will go ahead and do another one here just so you get the hang of it. Let's go back to, let's go out of live view and back into the regular view. Again, okay, we're going to get rid of Venture Park. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to insert image, rollover image. I'm going to call this Adventure Park. Open image. I'm going to be, I uh, see AD, Adventure Park's button. And the second one will be Adventure Parks button AD button 2. Okay, and we'll again alt text AD V E N T U R E S K R K link. And our browse here will be AD. We've got our Adventure Parks.html and say OK. OK, and now we've got a second one. I'm going to hit save. I have saved it. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. So, Playgrounds 2 and upload to the server. And now if we go to the web and look at this, we'll see that we'll control F5 it to refresh. And we should see that those two links right there have rollovers on them. 
And if I go out of this one into the more de fully developed one, get rid of this two here, this is the actual page right now. And we can see that all of these, I've done these all that way. So now if I go on um, climbing towers, I should go to a climbing towers page or zip lines, I should go to a zip lines page and still have these nice rollovers here. So that's the simplest way that I know of. Uh, you know, there are more advanced ways of doing this, but this is a very quick, simple way that you can do nice looking rollovers uh, with any kind of effect that you want to apply to them in Photoshop uh, using Creative Suite 6 Dreamweaver.